Hello and welcome to this presentation about SSL TLS encryption authentication process. We encounter SSL slash TLS every day. When we, for example, do our online banking, we see in the address bar of our browser the lock icon and also often HTTPS, which is indicating that this connection is secure or we just see that this site is using encryption so the communication is encrypted but the identity is not verified or in this case no encryption at all is happening the whole communication is sent in plain text what are the benefits of this process for one hand the encryption for sure and the other important thing is authentication which basically just means that I'm sure that the person who I'm talking to uh, is the one that I, he claims to be. To understand the TLS encryption process, we need to take a look at the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Let's say Alice here wants to send a message to Bob, Bob over an unsecure wire or vice versa. In that case, Alice, who has here the message, in our case just hi, uh, ciphers, encrypts the text with an first upon agreed symmetric key, out comes ciphertext that can be transmitted over an unsecure wire, so a third person like Eve here um, can listen in on the transmitted messages but still can make no sense because it's ciphered and only Bob who receives it who has the same key does the same the other way around so first he deciphers the scrambled message with the help of the key and out comes the unencrypted message hi so far so good. The only problem, they cannot transmit this key over an unsecure wire in the first place because Eve here could listen in on that too and also decipher the whole communication that follows up. So along came RSA and the public and private key method. Uh, in our case again here first Bob generates a set of keys who fit together called the key pair. He decides one of those he will never release and keep for himself which will be the private key and the other one is called the public key which he releases to whomever he wants. Even Eve here uh, could get hold of the public key uh, and Alice in our example, who wants to transmit the secure communication over it via, takes again the message high, encrypts it with the help in that time of the public key. The ciphertext is here, transmits it over the unsecure wire, and only Bob, who has the private key, only he is able to decipher the message again. Now that we do know about symmetric and asymmetric encryption, we do have the tools to better understand the TLS encryption process. Here it is. Let's say I'm here and my browser, in fact, wants to establish a SSL session with this server, securewebsite.com. Uh, my browser sends first a SSL hello message over this unsecure wire, then in the second step, server would respond with a certificate which includes his public key and is signed. From that point on forward, I have here his public key. I will uh, authenticate and verify in the third step the signature of the uh, certificate. We will come to that in the next slide. And then I would make up a, a unique uh, symmetric key encrypt that unique symmetric key with his public key would send it back to the server over the unsecure wire and with the help of both me mechanisms at the end uh, only me and the server know 
this symmetric session key we will use from that point on forward the SSL session is established. Now that we know that our line is secure, the only thing left is to verify the, the identity of the other party. So just to be clear, SSL works also with audit. You just see like this symbol in the browser, um, which indicates that the SSL session is established, but it, like I said, without verifying the identity. So how do we do verify the identity so we don't get any error? In the SSL certificate that was sent to us by the server before, which includes his public key and also the signature of a so-called certification authority or a short CA. So these certification authorities, uh, their certificates are already shipped within every browser. Let's take a look at Firefox, for example, when I go to Option Options and I go to Advanced Certificates, View Certificates, I see all those authorities. There are over 600 private company, government, uh, and in fact, we rely upon them that they verify other parties towards us. As for the conclusion, SSL, meaning TLS, is a great thing, but the CA system is its weak point. I thank you for watching and wish you a safe internet experience.